today's Repco Rewind, I'm going to talk to Scotty McLaughlin. Now, Scotty, I'm going to take you back to 2014. Right here, yeah. closing stages, last lap. Great duel with you and Jamie Winkup. Yeah, it was. It was, uh, you know, Lounsey, you were way in the <laughs> distance, but uh, we were battling pretty hard for second place. These guys playing for keeps. Look at Winkup. He's all over the back of this thing. He's got to get an exit here as they make the run to seven. There's a bit of pride on the line for Volvo and all that sort of stuff, but uh, you know, going into turn nine, I, I didn't block them hard enough. I blocked them hard enough, but slowed it up too much, got around the outside of me, and we went side by side there. It was, it was an amazing race. He goes wide. No. He's trying to get underneath him. When they get to ten, the crowd reacts. This is fantastic. Wink up up the inside. McCormick oh. gives him some space. Oh. Credit to Jamie. He gave me the room to be able to make it a good, good race, and then he obviously had a lot of stuff on his tyres and he went into the last corner, locked the rears, and I was able to slip up the inside. Dive down the inside, down the inside! So close. Unbelievable. Craig oh, Austin oh, wins the it's race. Got it's back. And Scott McLaughlin puts one on the chair. <laughs> and Volvo into second on debut. What did you think when Jamie overshot? He had one corner to get yeah. right, and he overshot it, you got up the inside. Yeah, yeah. And then you just got that drive up down down to this checker flag. I couldn't believe it. I was like, you know, you, you race hard. I thought, I honestly thought I was done, but I was like, oh, I'll show the nose a little bit, see if I can put him off a little bit. But as soon as he breaked into that last corner, you could see the rears start chirping, and you could see the lines behind him on the on the rear tire. And I was like, oh, we might have a chance here. And then he slipped wide, and away we went. Boys, I actually love you. It was one of those ones that you, you were happy that it happened and it was on your side at that time, but um, yeah, what an amazing occasion. Holy cow. <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, Post-race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that was, was it something you just didn't think about and it just came out? No, I was a 21-year-old. I thought Beretta was like my best mate. You know, I was explaining to him what I thought and it just slipped. Then. I don't know what happened on there. I, I, just plucked her in first, gave some jandle. You know, I was just uh, so pumped. I've been saying all week, I'm going to go give it some jandle and all that sort of stuff. And it's a New Zealand saying, and somehow we made that famous. And it was a, it was a pretty awesome day. And I'll never forget. I actually thought I was going to be a lot, lot of trouble. Good sorry, sorry, sorry to all the yep, little kids out there. <laughs> it's talking about fines when you swore on the radio or whatnot. And I swore on live TV prime time. I thought, nah, I'm done here. But it was it, it, the response was unreal. Now looking back on it, those words that you said post-race, yeah, yeah, yeah. can you imagine they turned into t-shirts, stickers, yeah. they turned into everything. Yeah, and, and I still get talked about it today. Like I, I put up a post, post on my Instagram the other day about my two wins here. Everyone's like, nah, nah the best moment was when you swore on TV. <laughs> but um, you know, I'll, I'll never forget that. But that was a life-changing moment for me, Craig. Like that really like propelled my career and, and I wouldn't have been able to do that without, you know, without Gary and, and the team. The car that they built was phenomenal and I was very lucky to drive it.